First thing, I want to say, how y'all doing? How you feeling? We haven't had class in this session in a while. So I want to say thank you very much for those who's tuning in. I want to say I appreciate that you're here. Give me a time for class. Now, today I'm not going to put no films on, no documentaries. This is open discussion. Open discussion on three books that I have. So I don't know how long this class is going to be, how many parts is going to be, but it's open. It's open conversation. The first book I'm going to be talking about, and I'm not going to go through the whole book and all that stuff. It's just brief, different brief parts in, in the book. But mainly, I'm going to be discussing about ancient civilization, and then how does it help you now in modern times? This is what we need to focus on. Ancient civilization, how does it help you now? Dealing with society, dealing with family members, dealing with the community, dealing with the people at your job, Dealing with economics, dealing with the stats of your finances, dealing with your family, dealing with religion. Before I get into all the, the three books that I have here, we always must pay due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Amun. Peace to the gods and the goddesses, the kings and the queens, the brothers and sisters, and ladies and gentlemen. All right. Before I get into it and go forward, I want to let you know the words that you hear are words that are used is an empowerment. Also the words is used to establish, uh, uh, to split, to split people into different groups. I don't use the words that use to split the people to, 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 um, to different groups. What I do is, is confidence. Remember, I'm just the messenger. I've told you this hundreds of times, I'm just the messenger. So the words that I use, when you hear me saying, gods and goddesses, these things are in the Bible. And another thing you don't understand, y'all do not understand the Bible. I'm still learning every day about scriptures in the Bible. Trust me. When you think you learned the whole entire book of the Bible, is something else new that you're going to find out. And what happens is over the centuries, the Bible, those who wrote it, rewrote it, has entwined the information. When you think that you're not a God, but there's scriptures that tell you that you are. That's why you hear me say God on earth. You understand? Put this information in your mind, God on earth, and gives it should gives you um you should feel empowerment. This will send a message to your body to make you feel confident, to make you feel special. You understand? You, you don't need to be leaning on other people. You need a psychiatrist and all these other things, and you need to go get some medicine because your depression is is so deep. You don't need these things because you believe. You believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. We need to stop having less confidence, but more confidence. So many of you, you depend on things that you don't really need. You don't even give your body a chance to heal itself. If they haven't cured the common cold, the common sneezes, 
the 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 um the fevers. Hmm? Your eyes get red. Your nose get all full. Fluid with um fluid, which is mucus. I could do a whole other chapter on that one if I want to, but just throw in little details. School school class today is not gonna. Be, we're not rushing in here. I want to break things down slowly. That's why I said I don't know how long it's gonna be. So we have to understand the confidence of the words that I be saying. Gods, goddesses, kings and queens. You already know kings and queens. That was an establishment to let that this person has power over you. You understand? They used the kings and queens. The, the man needed a queen, so he 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 brought in a woman. He had to choose another so-called royal person. You understand? This is under their definition. Because in different countries, different names, like emperor. Okay, now the emperor didn't have no queen. He had many queens. Or well, maybe he had none at all. Emperor comes from what? Either China or Japan. You understand? That, that, that matter of fact, in this modern time, they don't even call it presidents. Okay? In British, they don't call presidents. They go the queen and the king. Queen Elizabeth. Because they know the definition of these words. Establish and separate the other people giving in royalty a clout. Confidence that I am superior over you. That's how they use that. You can look at these people when they show face or they're out in the public, they are, you can see they, I'm the king, I'm the I'm a bishop, I'm a knight, all these different different um titles they wear. But don't think they don't have no problems, because they got problems too. Okay? And most of their problems is more a little bit more um difficult than yours. Okay? Excuse me. So let's don't fool ourselves out here. Let's don't fool ourselves. Excuse me. I'm just so anyway. I stated to you earlier, four minutes ago, there's three books that I want to flow through. The first book is this here. Did you read it? Can you see it? The Destruction of the Black Civilization. We discussed it before. The destruction of the black civilization. The second book is the ISIS Papers, The Key to the Colors. We all know Dr. Frances Cress Welsing. She's gone. She moved on to the next life. Hmm? The ISIS Papers. Some of y'all read this book. Some of you read The Destruction of the Black Civilization. But I know a lot of you didn't read this book here. The United Independent Compulsory Code System. Hmm? I know you didn't read that. This is a good book, too. You got to take your time with this book. This is by Neely Filler. I forgot to tell you about the author. The author is by Chancellor Williams. The Destruction of the Black Civilization. You see, see his name down at the bottom? You see it? Just in case some of y'all want to go, oh, I want to read that book. Now, I want to understand, I want you to understand something. When you read the book, you read the books for information. You read the books for inspiration. When I read the books, or any books I read, I don't read for, inf inf for, 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 for inspiration. I read for information. Certain Authors can give you inspiration. I read for information. Now, the first book I showed you was the destruction of the black civilization. We need to understand something. We need to understand that the 
the melanin people on this planet and the melanin people on the planet have so many different names that was thrown at us. So many different names. Coons, blacks, darkies, Nubian. Melanin. I haven't heard melanin in, 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 in years. Be honest with you. See, when I started studying, then all of a sudden the melanin, the word melanin was represented. There's a chemical that goes into, it's into our bodies that makes us black. I mean, our dog skin color, excuse me. And, and I got to be careful by saying black too because, and I know we, you know, because a lot of people get defensive. That's a lot of, that's a problem with that. A lot of people like don't call me black and I understand that because black is a color. But using it in a definition, that's who we are to a degree, but that's not who we are. People will seem to be more comfortable. Like if you say, oh, that person is yellow. Let me tell you, that one time you couldn't call a Chinese man yellow. Or a woman, you couldn't, what do you mean, yellow? Do I look like that color? We don't even call Chinese people, or Asian people rather, yellow. We don't do that no more. We still want to call each other black. We still want to call each other white. That's what, that's what we're doing. We're still doing these things. We, we're still feeding off the propaganda. That's what we're doing. We're still feeding off of that. Some of you can't even get it out your vocabulary. And sometimes I be slipping too. I'm not gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna sit there and lie to you. Sometimes I slip. Sometimes I, I sit up here and I, I say, oh, you know, my black people, you know. There's words, more words, niggas, you know, they say they say niggas. Nigger, niggas. If you know what niggas mean, niggas means royalty, you see. It's easy I had slipped that up on you. And you know, I mean, if you don't know, you can be thinking I'm still talking about black people. You know what I'm saying? These words was made up to call you what they want to call you. Don't you know our own people don't even like the entire clothing that we wear? I, 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 I lie you not. I lie you not. Our own peoples do not even like the clothes we wear. They want you to wear the, the, the Nikes, the Pumas, the Adidas. They want you to wear um, 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 things that they can identify. That's all that is. It's things that they can identify. Our own people, not even our own people, but the rest of the culture that's here in America. All these different cultures in here that wear what America, they believe that Americans are supposed to wear. Casual, casual wear, sports wear. So we can identify you. But the minute you wear something, a garment, that's not Americanized, who are you? See, words, titles, clothing, they all come the same, come down the same line. They all come down the same line. So this is the first part of class that we need to understand and, and, and pay attention to. This first session, this is number one. Words. Your garment is identity, and this is how people look at you. It's wrong. They want to say we're a melting pot, but how much of a melting pot is when I have to wear something that you can identify? But when anything that's in your mind that you can identify, then you're looking at me weird. My own people do it, y'all. Come on, I'm not sitting here trying to make this up. So the three books that I showed you, We'll be using it throughout class. I'm Chocolate Amin Ra, part one. Peace.